Hey y'all, Steve here. Um, I'm actually today going to make an attempt at putting together uh, my own special recipe, stir fry. It's uh, Unfortunately, I can't do most of the steps here because I'm by myself and, well, except for the dog who can't hold a camera. So I'm going to take this through, um, take you through this as quick as I can. All right? So let's get started. Okay, first thing I did was I got some uh, Rancher's Reserve inside skirt steak and just kind of threw it together. Now this is kind of a small portion. I usually go more than this, but I'm just cooking for myself tonight. So anyway, so what I cut those into is not exactly chunks, not exactly strips, kind of a combination of the two. Um, Cause I like my meat to be just a little bit pink in the inside, okay? So next thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna throw together the marinade. Now marinade is really simple. Basically we're gonna throw in about a Two tablespoons of soy sauce, a tablespoon of sake, and a tablespoon of cornstarch. So I'm going to go ahead and throw those three together and be right back. Okay, I'm back and got everything mixed together and just enough so that the uh, cornstarch loses its little chunks. Now I like to marinate things inside of a plastic bag. So just pour that in there. And then I'm going to seal it up, put it in the fridge while I get everything else back together. Now this isn't something that you have to marinate for 15 hours or overnight or even an hour or anything like that. Just stick it in the fridge and marinate it while you're preparing the rest of your ingredients. Should be fine. Okay? Alright, um, I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of the ingredients together while this is marinating and I'll be back in a bit. Hello dog. Okay, so... I'm back and we're just about ready to start stir frying. See my wok's over here heating up. It's on high. I'm going to wait for that light to go completely off before I ever start. I've got my vegetables over here. I'm going with uh, baby bella mushrooms and some, uh, some broccoli. A couple of things now. Um, you can go ahead and use you know water chestnuts or whatever it is you happen to like. Um, this is just what I feel like having today. You could use any, you know, you like those little baby corn on the cobs, go ahead for it. Now, this here is there for one very specific reason. Unlike most stir fries, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fry up the meat, then I'm going to take it out of the wok, then I'm going to fry the vegetables separately. Then I'll mix it all together, you know, cook it up a little bit, then I'll throw in the, uh, throw in the, uh, the sauce. The reason I do that is because it allows the meat to be cooked to exactly how you want it cooked every single time. Rather than throwing everything in together, it gets to be kind of a crapshoot. So it's also good if you have, well, a small wok. Like, well, this one's not bad. Anyway. Okay, so what do we have over here? Uh, right here I've got about three green onions, about three cloves of garlic, and a slice of ginger. I put the, the ginger and the garlic through a garlic press, obviously. Now, do not overuse ginger on this in this recipe. It will take over the taste. Um, I have another recipe for some ribs that take a ton of ginger. This recipe does not. Um, oh, before I forget also, uh, with the, the vegetables, make sure you do a good job of getting all the excess water out of them when you wash it. You do not want to be splattering wa um, water all over your hot wok when you're putting those in, okay? So, the other thing we're gonna do is we have the sauce. Obviously the sauce in any stir fry is the key to its taste. So in this one basically I've got about a little bit of water, about a third of a cup to uh, you know quarter a cup to a third of a cup. A third of a cup should be fine. So I'm gonna go with a tablespoon of soy sauce. I'm gonna go with two tablespoons of oyster sauce. I'm gonna go with a tablespoon of dry sherry and a tablespoon and a half of um, Cornstarch, yeah, that's it. And that, of course, is to thicken it up. So, um, I'm gonna go ahead and prepare the sauce because it needs to be prepared before I start anything. The next time you hear from me, we're gonna be ready to start cooking, all right? Okay, I'm back. Now, if you're wondering what's at the bottom of this wok, notice it's nice and hot, by the way, it's all steamy and smoky and stuff. Um, it's extra virgin olive oil. That's all I use, okay? That's all you should use. All right, so I have my implements. Now this is gonna to be tough because I usually stir fry with two hands. So what I'm gonna to have to do is I'm gonna to have to, you know, put in an ingredient, stir it up and, you know, so there's gonna be a lot of stop and start and I'm sorry for that, but it is what it is. Also keep in mind 
that this is going to be, well, I wanted to give you the right measurements for the sauce, but, um, you know, it's usually for much more food. So this is going to be a little saucier than normal when I'm done. Well, I guess I don't have to pour it all in. Well, we'll see how I feel. All right, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to take these, toss those in the wok, and yeah, I use non-breakable, and just let those start up to simmer up a little bit. And I'll take the meat, which I've transferred to a uh, paper plate. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and drop this camera, stir fry this, brown it up real nice. All right? Okay, we're back. As you see, there's our meat. It's all nice and brown. You know, there's still there's still some red in there in a little bit. It's not completely cooked through. So if you like your meat well done, you might want to cook it a little bit more before you pull it out. But now it's time to add the vegetables. I've already uh, semi-cleaned the wok. Uh, just basically scraped it with the spoon. Threw a little bit more extra virgin olive oil in there. And then uh, now it's time for the vegetables. All right? And then uh, I will go ahead and fry this up, and I'll get back when I'm done. All right, this is hard to do with one hand, I'm trying to keep my food moving here. But um, basically, I cooked my vegetables until they turned color. All right? Then I went ahead and threw the meat in there. I don't know how well you can see this. And then uh, now I'm just, you know, moving around. Remember, there's two rules doing good stir fry. One, keep your wok hot. Two, keep your food moving. So right now I'm wok hot, trying to keep it moving. All right, so now, here we go. Got that. Got my sauce. Stir it up real quick. And pop it in the middle. Just pop it in the middle. I'm not going to use all of it. Use most of it. All right, I'm going to stir this around a bit and get both hands into the action. I'll be right back with you. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so, all right, so what did I do? I um, basically I added the meat back into the mix, stir fried it. Now here's here's the trick. Here's why I like doing the you know browning the meat and taking it out and doing the vegetables because you do you do the meat till it's brown, right? Then you do the vegetables until they change color. Basically, the broccoli will turn into a bright green. The mushrooms will will turn into a much richer brown. Then you add the meat back in, right? How do you know when the meat's done? Because the mushrooms are done. And it's easy to tell just by tap, you know, just by doing that to the mushroom, it's easy to tell if it's done or not. Because you can feel it. Is it soft enough with a little bit of crunch left to it? If so, good deal, then you're done. Then what I did was I just went ahead and uh, stirred in the sauce, as you saw. Um, cooked it up until the mushrooms were done. And then turned the wok off. Just let it sit there for a little bit. Add it will thicken up, uh, as you can probably see, just enough sauce, okay? Just enough sauce. So it didn't turn out too saucy. It should be actually quite delicious. Um, of course, you can make rice to add with this or anything like that. Just uh, remember, uh, your ingredients for the sauce, one tablespoon soy sauce, one tablespoon of dry sherry, two tablespoons of oyster sauce, a tablespoon and a half of cornstarch for thickening. And just remember, keep your wok hot, keep your food moving, and I uh, hope you enjoyed my first, very first cooking video. See ya. Hey guys, so <clears throat> what did I learn during this experience? Well, number one, it's a lot harder to make a cooking video than I thought. Um, I was hoping I'd be able to hold the camera the right way and you'd be able to see everything, but you know, cameras fly around and, you know, half the time I'm saying, yeah, look at this, and I've got it pointed into the sink. But, hey, you live, you learn. Hopefully, uh, well, the next video I'm going to do is going to be a lot easier, actually. Um, a lot less involved, and uh, I can do everything pretty much one-handed. So, hope to see you then, and uh, talk to you later.